Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now, this time, we're going to be looking into the seventh episode of Season 5 of The Muppet Show, which features Glenda Jackson. Now, for those of you who may not know who Glenda Jackson is, she is actually a two-time Oscar-winning actress, where she actually won her Oscar for her performance in Women in Love and also A Touch in Class. And on top of that, she also did receive an Oscar nomination for her role in uh, Sunday Bloody Sunday. And on top of that, she also did get another one for her performance in uh, Hedda. But on top of that, she even got herself an Emmy for playing Queen Elizabeth I in Elizabeth R. But very interestingly enough, after her career in acting, where she would appear in numerous of films and TV shows, she decided to go into a career in politics, where during the 90s up until the early 2010s, she was a member of the Labour Party, and she even ended up becoming a member of Parliament at one point. So, yeah, she definitely did have a fascinating career where she would touch upon acting and then later uh, go into politics. But then when you look into the episode of The Muppet Show that she did appear in, holy crap, this is definitely one of those that's in the category of, like, really, really weird. Because the thing is, is that, like I said before, she is an actress, she is a politician, but in here... Somehow she made herself as a pirate and basically that's the whole theme of this episode where basically uh, Glenda Jackson is a pirate and she's pretty much taking over the Muppet show and Everything just turns into a, a pirate ship like the entire Muppet theater is now a ship and she's taking command of it and you see like the entire like backstage and on stage like everything is just swerving around like, it's just this random transformation, and even everything, like, almost all the sketches that are in there, like, it's pretty much dominated with nothing but sea shanties. Like, uh, you see Glenda Jackson and all the other pirates, they would sing songs like, uh, The Walloping Window, uh, the walloping window Blind. And then also you see them singing like a bunch of other ones like the the really popular classic ones like sailing sailing and also um, they would sing uh, ahoy Ank uh, what, what was it ahoy anchor no anchors away Th there we go like they would sing all these songs yet ironically enough they would not even sing yo ho a pirate's life for me considering they've already sung it's a small world but and you, you can only work with what you got. Uh, uh, but anyways, yeah, like, and then there are other sketches that are in here as well that are related to pirate things. Like, uh, there's a Muppet Sports segment where uh, uh, Louis Kazagger would interview this guy who's just hanging from one of the sails. Uh, that was a cute bit. That was honestly really fun. Uh, and then there's also another one. It's like a simple one, but it's probably the best sketch in this episode where you got uh, the parrot coming in and then he would sing a song called Carolina in the morning and then you just see the Swedish chef in the back just preparing to try to cook him but like sneakily doing so at the same time like in a way you could say that it is a, a bit of a Swedish chef bit but uh, honestly like it it's very simplistic it's not really themed to anything it's just uh, the, a Muppet parrot just singing, and then you also got the Swedish chef in the back, but still, like, the way that they executed was really a lot of fun. Even the singing itself, uh, the way that the parrot, like, uh, tries to, uh, parrot, parrotify the song enough, like, where, like, he would add in, like, parrot lyrics, like, just, like, the Carolina not in the morning and stuff like that but the one thing i will say that is actually very interesting about this episode in particular is that there are a lot of elements in here that actually decided to come back and it's been a while since we've seen it like not only characters but also a few sketches at the same time 
Like, it's been a long time since we've seen Sweetums actually return into an episode of The Muppet Show, and it's been a while since we've actually seen the Flying Zucchini Brothers, which they decided to come back in the end, where they ran out of, like, apparently Glenda Jackson ran out of cannonballs, and they, she decided, why not use the Flying Zucchini Brothers? And then also, at the same time, uh, they brought back At The Dance, which honestly... Like, it's been so long since I've seen an episode of it. Like, I'm trying to remember back. Like, I remember it was dying out in Season 3, but it was... Honestly, I even question myself if I've ever seen an At The Dance bit in Season 4. But yeah, like, that decided to come back and at the same time tried to do a whole pirate theme. Now, anyways, like, even though I talked about, like, what's in the episode itself, like, in terms of the story, like, what is pretty much going on, uh, like, I would say that one of the reasons why it was really weird, it would have to be more because of Glenda Jackson herself, because, my god, out of all the special guest stars that came in here, I think Glenda Jackson is the one that really overacted the most. Like, she really wants to try to get into the whole pirate bit, but, wow, this is, like, ridiculous overacting. And, and it's not, like the tongue-in-cheek overacting. This is, like, legitimately going crazy overacting. Honestly, her performance in there is just absolutely nuts. And, like, even though, yes, it is The Muppet Show, like, I, I would say that it's hard to really take this episode seriously as a Muppet Show bit when, like, honestly, like, you got the special guest star just over-the-top acting like crazy, and then at the same time singing like old style uh, sea shanty songs that a lot of kids would know about like sailing sailing. And you know it's like and especially the nature of this episode in particular where suddenly it just tra like where they suddenly transform the Muppet Theater into a giant ship. It's just honestly really crazy. Just everything about it just really went nuts. So. That's mostly the big thing I would say about this episode, is that overall, this is absolutely one of the more weirder episodes of The Muppet Show. Especially when you have Glenda Jackson just over, like, overacting like crazy. And then just the nature of the episode where they decided to uh, suddenly just turn it into a ship for some reason. Um, like, some of the sketches are actually pretty good. Like, uh, like the little parrot, like the little parrot thing in the middle. And even the op opening number is actually pretty cool with, uh, working at the car wash blues with Gonzo and his chickens. That one was actually really nice. But I would say that even though there are some good moments in this episode, like, it definitely was over the top to the point of, like, even surpassing Muppet standards. And I think, yeah, that's the best way to describe this episode. It's over, it's like over the top it well yeah over the top even by muppet standards basically but anyways that is pretty much it for this episode of the muppet vlog so i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and we shall see if in the next episode things can get back to normal and the muppet theater will still be a theater instead of just a ship just going out to sea but we will only know until next time so see you later dudes